What's up everybody? My name is Big Jump and welcome to my new Let's Play of Super Mario Odyssey. This year is going to be the 5th year anniversary of this game uh, in October 2022 and uh, yeah October 27th to 20, uh, 2017 is when uh, this game released, so it's gonna be almost five years, and uh, I made like kind of a mood to replay this game. Uh, I haven't touched it in a while. I know that uh, if I go to the option and check, um, like uh, this one, it says I played like back in January. I just open the game and uh, you know went around and run around and just have a I wanted to play the game but then I was like ah don't really want to go to and get all the other moons and all that but I did finish the game but uh, if I'm not mistaken mistaken to like finish the game I think you need like 500 moons and then all the rest is like super optional. So I'm gonna start a new game. And um, just this is gonna be like a casual playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to get you know, a bunch of moons. But I don't, oh, I'm not going to get them, like all of them. It's just gonna be casual playthrough. At least, at least get 500 and do some special. Uh, some extra stars here and there, but other than that, I'm just gonna, you know, it's gonna be just a a relaxing playthrough in the skies of Peach's Castle. Epic fight between Mario and Bowser. Remember seeing the trailers and it was crazy. Mario versus Bowser? What? Impossible. Oh, Bowser, you got that drip. Yeah, Mario, I have that drip. This is the end for you because you're dripless. My hat, you son of a bitch. Watch out, Mario. Oh, shit. Mamma mia. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh. Reposal. Time for my wedding week, Peach. Here, this Mario. <laughs> Adios. No, not that. Also, fun fact that that song right now that I just played is a uh, is like a remix version of the airship theme for Super Mario Bros. One style in Mario Maker. Round, jump. Whoa! Look around, jump. I know how to play. Who are you? You're not one of them, are you? So, so sorry for running away like that. You startled me and uh, I do startle easily. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a trouncing. Hey, to make matters worse, the Fiend has killed my little sister. Oh, 
I hope to give a chase to that monster in a ship of my own. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. That's horrible. Although, now that I think of it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could get us there if only I could reach the top of the the top hat tower, which is being guarded by the Bowser, the by the monster's henchmen. You know, it seems that we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can help those two. Oh, my hat! Nah, not your style. How about this? Cappy! Cappy is now your companion. Your companion. Try throwing with Y. And for playing with a Joy-Con, you can just fling it! Whoa! Alright, so here's where the other start can throw a cap in and grab those little pegs. Can use the brick boxes. Alright. Right, grab some coins. Poster out. There's a secret stash of coins. Hello. Welcome to Bone Town, Pride of the Pride of the Cap Kingdom. Do you know about the action guide? I know already. Be careful out there. Alright. Oh no, I'm all dirty. Heart. Hey, I can see that monster's minion from here, but all I can do is fall helplessly and, helplessly and watch. Throw to begin. Uh, cap throw and hold. Wanna break those stack of boxes or hit a block with a, with a bunch of times? Just press and hold Y to do a cap throw and hold. Okay, yeah, that's. That's the throw, the cap throw and hold. There we go, pull this. And voila! Nice work! Oh no, some little goombas! Some goombies. the top hat tower right. that lid is ugly hey mm, I know try to bring me out of frog Oh shit! Oh shit! No! <laughs> what the? Oh! I thought I was getting sucked by a frog! You captured a frog! And now uh, we are a frog! So, press B to jump. If you shake the Joy-Con or your Pro Controller, you're gonna do a bigger jump. And 
that's how we take care of these guys. I've got the, the name of those little yellow Goombas, I think it's like Goom... Goombits? Goombits, because they're little bits of Goombas, I, I don't know, that's my head headcanon for now. I think there's a... There we go, list. Uh... Oh no, I guess... For some reason, I thought there was a... Like a beast scary. <laughs> I don't know why. Friends is uh, Z to uh, get out of the, the frog. Simple stuff. Uh, I don't think there's a secret. No. Where's your wrap? Checkpoint. Bowser, that monster slung your danger and are still on the top hat, the top hat tower. Hey, say, do be careful. All right, all the coin trail, and here we have some new characters. <laughs> the boss won't bar me. There'd be a fella with a mustache coming along. Guys, we're gonna introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brudals. We got that treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business in these parts. Of course, roughing up uh, uh, Goody Two Shoes Meddler was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. Alright, so we start with. Green suit bunny. He's not really that hard. You can deflect the the hats with your cap. Throw your hat three times and then jump on it. And that's it. And he's dead. And then we throw it. And boom. Super Mario Odyssey. Cascade Kingdom. Fossil Falls. Our first power moon. Whoa, yeah, what a ride! And we made it to the Cascade Kingdom. Oh. Sorry, still a bit ahead from capturing the power line. Must collect myself. There could be an old airship somewhere around here. Let us, let's see if we can uh, if we can find it. Oh, the way the music starts, I remember. I remember. I was uh, uh, when the game came out. I was still in college, and. Uh, I remember skipping class, calling teachers saying like, I'm sorry, I feel sick, I can't come. And what I did is, instead of going to school, I went to GameStop, bought the game. And... went home. And I was visiting my mom, uh, over the weekend. So I bought the game, went to my mom's place. Then my mom comes home and like, weren't you, weren't you supposed to be at school? And I'm like, uh... 
the class has been cancelled and my mom was like, sure. Don't do that again. I'm like, don't worry mom. It's a switch location. It's Mario, okay? I have the switch. The switch was new. And it was a new Mario, remember that remember there was that it was the newest Mario there was there was Mario Maker 2 wasn't a thing yet. Um uh, and Bowser's Fury wasn't a thing, yeah. That was the first 3D Mario since uh let's say 3D uh, 3D World on the Wii U. But to be honest, this is the first 3D game like uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. <clears throat> Alright, Multi Moon atop the falls. This is a new mission. We found a Power Moon. What a lucky break. This will come in handy to power up the airship. Have you ever seen anything like this? But yeah, I remember. I <laughs> so happy. And then on Monday, uh, when I went back to school, like, did my class and all that, and then my teacher, like, at the end of the, the class, just, like, he just called me, he's like, hey, hey, Jeff Franco, and I'm like, yeah, what's up? It's like, Friday. Did you skip class just to play Mario Odyssey? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, fair enough, but don't do that again. And then he's like, what's the game? Because he's a big, uh, if I remember correctly, he's, he was a big Mario fan. And I told him like, oh yeah, the great, the game? Incredible. So far, my experience, incredible. And then he let me off, he's like, alright, <laughs> be careful. Alright, we need five more power moons, not gonna charge the globe yet. So yeah, that, that was my little story about how I skipped class because of Mario. So Mario, it's your fault. You're a bad influence. Alright, so uh, replaying this game, knowing like the mechanics and all that. Like I remember the first time I played, I had a I found it difficult to do the dive because it was so weird. Oh, you have to ground pound and then press Y. And yeah. All right. So yeah, the, uh, uh, I'm just rambling, but uh, yeah, playing, knowing the mechanics, knowing a little bit of some of this stuff. It's gonna be. It's definitely gonna be a different experience than when you play the game for the first time. But, uh, like I said, I haven't played, like, since I finished the game. And I've never really started a new game, so... Um, from the perspective of someone who was hunting, who used to hunt moons... Uh, it's gonna be really different uh, playing those levels in a certain way, because... Uh, Uh, the uh, uh, later in the ge in the game, the level change a l not that they change a little bit, but uh, there some moons are at some moons are added, like some sections are added. If I remember correctly, some sections are added to add moons. I killed those with a T-Rex. Also, we're a T-Rex. I remember that was like one of the biggest things from the trailer. We were like going crazy. You can be a T-Rex. And I uh, didn't mention it, but uh, we have a uh, little collectibles. The purple, purple collectibles. They're like purple coins. It's oh shit. <laughs> Well, bye, dinosaur. Uh, it's not the same as the purple coins from uh, Mario Galaxy. It's a uh, collectible for each of the worlds. 
if I'm not mistaken, mistaken uh, each uh, kingdom has a hundred, if I remember correctly. And it's used to buy certain collectibles, which once we have the ability to use those coins, uh, we can see what they are used for exactly. And the counter says that it's 50, so here's the thing, I don't remember if it's... Oh shit. <laughs> I don't remember if it's... That uh, uh, the Gatskid Kingdom uh, only has 50 since it's the first level. Or it's it's 50 and then there's like another 50 that, that gets added up later, later in the game. I messed up that last purple coin. There we go. So yeah, it's really cool how you can uh, explore. If you fling your controller uh, to the side, you can do this. Or you can also just spin and press Y. You can do the same thing. So when exploring, you can grab stuff with Cappy, so that's cool. You know, tutorial, it's like a tutorial area, but it's really, really simple. And this is blocking off something, I'm pretty sure uh, later it's revealed to be like a, a warp pipe or something. Because yeah, uh, from my memory, from exploring and trying to get all the, you know, the extra collectibles and all that, uh, I do remember that, uh, like I said, there's some stuff that gets added later on. So it's gonna be super weird when I'm gonna try to do something and be like, wait, I thought there was a star over there. Or, I mean, a moon. So I got a moon, chomp through the rocks. And I kinda like it how they, uh... They show you, like, when you got the moon. Like they give you like a, the date, so it's kind of like an achievement when you when you go to your list, you can check. It's like, yeah, you got this uh, on that day, and you get checked in and they go, oh yeah, that day. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be like, someone's gonna remember like, getting, I don't know. The Chain Chomp Farts Moon uh, holds a special place in my heart because I got that I got that moon the day of my wedding. Some shit like that. I don't know. Maybe some people are gonna feel nostalgic. I don't know. I can see that. Can you imagine, like, in. Like, 15 years? I'm gonna have the. Uh, Nintendo. Omega Tron. Oh my! We got flat! And rather luck at that. So we're gonna get the Nintendo Omega Block and I'm like gonna dust off my Switch and I'm gonna be like, oh, boot up my old uh, save off of my Odyssey and be like, oh, I got that star in 2017? Wow. Back when there wasn't a zombie apocalypse. That's crazy. So, cool thing that we have in this game is Pixel Pipes, or I, I don't know if that's the official name. But that's how I will call it, Pixel Pipe, or maybe Retro Pipe, I don't know. But it puts you in the uh, SMB1 style. So, you know, run, jump, like the old game. Obviously, it's, the physics are more modern, and not like, if you commit, if you do a jump, you have to, like, kind of commit. Uh, you can press Z to crouch, so you don't really need to press down. If it's like uncomfortable to like for some reason you want to crouch jump so yeah that's neat and I think one of the thing that yeah have some secret there and then you can move the camera and you can see that there's something here so there's a new section over here and there's a moon 
Oh yeah, behind the waterfall. Say it once. So when you're in the in this form, uh, be sure to ex to explore and check if there's like little secrets, like on that wall over there. Turn the camera because you can do that, and it's really helpful if you want. And then whoop, back to normal. Also, if you miss, let's say you throw and you miss, you can shake your controller and it's gonna extend Cappy like a little bit farther. Oh, crap. So that can help if you like, you miss something and like, you kinda need a little extra, little extra distance so you can capture something. So I'm trying to remember if my memory is correct. I think there's a power moon somewhere. Or maybe that's from the post game. So this is what uh, I was trying to say when uh, I was saying that this is probably going to be super weird from the perspective of someone who like finished the game and was doing post post game stuff there okay. Okay. this is the last one oh what the hell is happening with my controller did I press the button to this the disconnect button by mistake maybe I destroy these rocks, I can destroy, destroy these rocks as well. well. You know what? I think uh, the moon that I was speaking of is one of those post game moons. So, yeah. Oh. It's you that I want. No, you're the one that I want. And then... Do this. Perfect. Yeah, there's a spect spectacular view and there is also... Extra HP refill. refill. The, the right stick you can go to first person mode there's an island with a moon there there's nothing that we can do to go there yet but it's a good thing that we can see it it's right over there teasing us and here we go What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? Why, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chim chum pickings. Alright, so... I don't know her name, I'm gonna call her... Lady Bunny. And uh, that's her little golden ching chomp. Capture it and capture it and then fling it to her face. Oh shit. There it captured. It's gonna try to smack you in the head. And boom! Second hit, and as and the usual, the rule of three. Crap! I love my extra HP. I lost them. 
It's that's fine. Bam. And this is it. A uh, multi moon. So multi moons are uh, it's just a stack of three moons. Usually you get them when you are done with a boss, with a boss fight, or with like a very important uh, special mission. But typ typically it's with a boss fight. Alright. You've done it, and now we've got a multi-moon. It's as strong as three power moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me on that globe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. There's something I want to do first. Yeah, the ship can take off, but do we have some money here? <laughs> so that's a little shortcut. For this area. Ah. Let's see. Ah, ah. And exactly, so this is what I was remembering. So once you're done with, uh, I think it's once you get a multi moon is when stuff gets uh, starts to get a little bit different. So destroyed it, there's a warp pipe. That wasn't there earlier. Or maybe it was there and I just didn't realize, but there wasn't a there wasn't a power moon over here earlier. And okay, another thing that just uh, that, that's been added. Alright, so we can go back here in the water. We have air, just like in Mario Galaxy. You can swim a little bit faster if you do the uh, ground pound and Y technique. Alright, so right here we have a Power Moon in treasure chest. That's cool. And here, this is something new. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of little challenge, uh, challenges uh, related, related to that scarecrow. So you, we throw Cappy, and a bunch of platforms are going to appear, and we can't use uh, Cappy. I'm pressing Y. I'm shaking my Joy Cons. Nothing is happening. So these are just challenges that require only Mario and no use of Cappy so we can do the little, the little double jump technique we don't have access to that but this one is like the first one so it's not too hard if we go right here we have three more coins purple coins and there's an empty picture frame we're gonna need that probably later That's that. Alright. So, we're not done exploring here. We have this little boy. This is Talker 2. What is the secret you're seeking? I know it, I know it. Haha. <laughs> I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Hidden ch uh, Chasm Passage. It's hiding somewhere and no peeking, go finding, go find it. Scrow! 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 So, uh, Talker 2 gives you a little hint on 
where uh, like uh, a little hint like uh, just the name of the like the mission name so that's uh, you know like in Mario 64 the little hints that give you that you that you had like the title of the mission it's kind of similar to that so he's just gonna give you uh, the very very basic explanation hidden chasm passage that's it find the hidden uh, chasm and uh, hopefully that's where you're gonna get your your star uh, your moon I mean Back with Mr. Dinosaur. Can destroy this. These sets of rocks. And okay, that's just a trampoline. But if we use it. Another I know that there's another way to do that, but I just want to do this this way. Hello? There we go. Okay. On the other side, you saw him, there, there, there he's up there. We have Captain Toad. He can jump like this. Oh, I fell. Alright. We can use the map and warp to the different uh, flags. That's really useful if you want to fast travel. That's not the one that I wanted, but that's good. So here, a door just appeared. So these little areas are, have uh, small challenges. For a power moon. And typically there's uh, two power moons. So there's the main one that you get for completing the challenge. And there's also a uh, second one that's uh, let's say a little bit harder to find But if you find it uh, You get another, another star another moon. I oh, choose that's gonna be something So right here So you see this this little Little block there so we need the, the, the Koopa like that boop boop this and there it is secret power moon hidden chasm passage great oh shit. <laughs> all right at least I can show what happens when you lose you lose 10 coins nothing too major Back here. Let me just go back here. I'm going to jump and try to get that ledge up here. So it's a good thing that you can switch the camera, the position of the camera, so you can see where you're going. So we got some purple coins. Also, a neat trick, if you ground pound or roll towards a warp pipe, you enter faster, so... Just an example, that's normal speed. And if I roll, there's gonna be like a... That sound effect that's like way faster. Same thing uh, with the upside... Uh, with the upright pipes. Just ground pound. You're gonna enter way quickly. Hello. Alright, so these are a few extra moons that we got. But that's not all. Up 
here. With those two chain chumps. Uh, oh. Well, well, well. Alright, back here with those two chain chumps. Pretend nothing happened. It's way better like this. We have this! That appeared. So we just have to go there fast. Triple jump. Casket Kingdom Time Challenge 2. Now we have this that we can do. Really easy. Across the flo floating aisles. That's for this part, what a nut stone. Truly a nut stone. Right over here. We have Captain Toad. Mario, fancy meeting you here! That's right, it's me, Captain Toad! I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. There are so many rare fossils around here, I jump for joy, but you know. Oh, also, I found a power moon in my search, but you can have it. Good morning, Captain Toad. Which kingdom do you think you should uh, I should visit next? Uh, the next one over. So, and uh, just like I was saying earlier, there was a big chunk of rock over there, and now there's a pipe. So that's a new set of challenge. So this is oh yeah I remember this one. So we want to grab the chain jump and pull it and do like a chain reaction. And you kinda do that and uh, yeah. That happens, so that's a weird contraption for chain jumps. And I feel really bad for this one. He's just stuck there and all that poison. Feel bad for it. Right, challenge two. Now we have to do it like from an angle. So I think right there. Yep. Section number three. Think it's, oh yeah, and there's also little indicators of the floor, so that I think it helps you with the angle. So I think this should do it. No, that was a close one though. Play like, maybe right here. Oh, hold on, right there. And that opens up. And we have our power moon. Alright. And haha, <laughs> don't go to the warp pipe yet. There's another section here. It's really it's hidden. But there's a fourth challenge here. So we wanna grab the perfect angle. Nice. And there's another power moon. And yeah, that's it. So just a just a reminder: those little uh, sections that you go through uh, via a warp pipe or a door. Always remember that there are two power wounds inside of them. So don't forget about that. That's all I'm going to say. It's like my little, my little, uh, uh, how can I say this? My little advice <laughs> of the day, I guess. Okay, backtracking back, 
uh, backtracking back at the beginning. That's a little bit uh, redundant. Uh, there's a moon right there on top of a rubble. Alright, now there's something that's going to bother me. I'm missing three purple coins. So this is Hint Toad. You can, yeah, for 50 coin you can buy a hint and he's gonna tell you the position. Let's say yes, just for this one. So he marked a star, alright. Or you can use this guy, Uncle Amiibo. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have an, an amiibo with me at the moment. But if you don't want to pay 50 coins, you can use an amiibo. And it's basically getting a hint for free. So my map is telling me that there's one moon over here. And you can see the uh, on the radar. It says it's here. Is it ground pound? Or oh, there it is. It's a door. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember this one. Got a T Rex. Over them. If you shake your Joy-Con or your Pro Controller, and uh, he's gonna roar and shake his head. Just destroying everything. Holy crap, I messed that up. back. Once you kill them all, star appears. Star, I have to stop saying that. It's a moon! The big cleanup of the dinosaur nest. That's cool and all, but we're not done. We drop down below here. There's another section. I think... Yeah, there we go. There's a moon over here. And voila! Running wild. And we're done with this little area. So that's pretty neat. Alright. The thing that I can do here is this. Okay, that's only coins. Okay, I was pretty sure that there was a there was another one. But I guess not. Okay. Stop it! Aha! That's what I was looking for. Alright, we have all the 50 purple coins. That's pretty neat. 
And uh, let me check with the. Why not spend a little bit more money? Can't find any more hints in this kingdom? Okay, I got them all. That's that's what it means. So yeah, we cleaned up this kingdom for now. So uh, finally, after all this time. We have 19 moons. The Odyssey is restored. We've got enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those two. Why don't, why don't you take the helm? Just select the same kingdom and press A and we'll be off. So we can return back to the cat kingdom. Or not. And off we go! I remember for the first time seeing this and I was like, yeah, that's gonna be so cool. I, th I remember in the trailer, what, in the trailers, it was so weird seeing uh, that uh, Mario was like the captain of his own airship. But yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat thing how, you know, it's just, it's big, big levels. Like a huge area, so it's like a big hub world with a bunch of little challenges. It's really fun. And Cascade Kingdom for our first level, for our first world, or more of a, like a tutorial level, it's it's pretty good. So, how do you like me as a captain? Said pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? The monsters thing is Bowser. Well, we'll chase him down in no time winning the Odyssey. Seeing as as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some used skills. Okay, yeah, we know how to ground pound. And no, we don't need this. That's a bonus. Okay, yeah, that's stuff. We don't need that. <laughs> as you know, that piece together, it is entirely covered in sand, and as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. And there are some ruins there and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever. Like a wedding ring. This Bowser seems just like the sword of Crete that will steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. This is the Sand Kingdom. Tostarena. Atop the highest tower. <laughs> Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey com a complete success! But why is it so cold? I thought the Zerto were supposed to be hot. Huh? The top of that tower is shining. But how could it be? Could it be a power moon? Alright, we are now in the freezing desert, but unfortunately, Mara is going to stay a little bit in the cold like that, because this is where I'm going to say bye to all of you. This is going to be an incredible journey, I can feel that it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't played this game in, a, in quite a while, and replaying it from the start, from a fresh new save file. Uh, it's gonna be quite interesting because it's gonna 
trick me into believing that there's a power moon there, but then it's just gonna be like one of the power moons that I found in the post game. It's gonna mix me up, and I'm the kind of guy that likes to try to complete everything before moving to the next level. But I know that it's impossible in this game to to do that because every time you think that you collect everything, there is a new power moon that appears once you go back to that area. But that's a whole other discussion. For now, this is where I say goodbye to you all. Hope that you enjoyed this first episode. Uh, it was pretty long, but you know, it's intro introduction and all that. So I don't think that the other parts are gonna be uh, as long as this one, but we never know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time when we start exploring it, the Sand Kingdom. Stay safe out there, and goodbye.